Let us do another question set on average. The average of a positive number and its square is equal to 5 times that number. What is that number? So the average of a positive number and its square is equal to 5 times that number. So if the number is x, its average is 5x. So we have two numbers here. So the average is the sum of those two numbers divided by the count, which is 2. So x plus x squared by 2 is the average, which is equal to 5x. So x plus x squared is equal to 10x. This 2 goes to the right hand side of equals 2. We can take 1x common from here. So x is common. What remains is 1 plus x is equal to 10x. And from here, this x and this x gets cancelled out. So 1 plus x is equal to 10. Therefore, x is equal to 10 minus 1, which is 9. Therefore, the number is 9. The sum of three consecutive odd numbers is 38, more than the average of these numbers. What is the first of these numbers? Okay, let us say that the first odd number be x, then the next consecutive odd number will be x plus 2 and the next one would be x plus 4. This is because take any two consecutive odd numbers, let's say 3, 5 and the next consecutive odd number is 7. The difference between two consecutive odd numbers is 2. So x then add 2, get the next consecutive odd number and again add 2 to get the next consecutive odd number. So we have our three consecutive odd numbers. Their sum is 38 more than the average of these numbers. So their sum, if we take the sum of these, is equal to 38 more than the average of these numbers. So 38 plus average of these numbers. So 38 plus average of x, x plus 2 and x plus 4. So this is equal to, let us add these up, x plus x plus x is 3x plus 2 plus 4 is 6 is equal to 38 plus average of x, x plus 2 and x plus 4 is the sum of that x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 divided by the total count of numbers which is 3. This is again equal to 3x plus 6 equal to 38 plus this is again 3x plus 6 by 3 which is equal to let's write this 3x as it is equal to let's move this 6 to the right hand side of equals to so 38 minus 6 which is 32 plus divide this 3x by 3 and this 6 by 3 so 3x by 3 is x plus 6 by 3 is 2 so 3x minus x if we move this x to the left hand side of equals to we get 2x is equal to 32 plus 2 is 34. Therefore, x is equal to 34 by 2, which is equal to 17. Therefore, our answer is option B. Question number 3. A church has an average 510 visitors on Sundays and 240 on other days. The average number of visitors per day in a month of 30 days beginning with a Sunday is. So the month is of 30 days and begins with a Sunday. So the number of Sundays is equal to 5. In a normal month, the total number of Sundays are 4, but this month is beginning with a Sunday. So the number of Sundays are 5. So we have 510 visitors each Sunday. So the total number of visitors on Sundays is equal to 5 times 510. Each Sunday we have 510 visitors. Total number of Sundays are 5. So all combined the total number of visitors will be 5 times 510. And the total number of visitors on other days is equal to out of 30 days 5 are Sundays. So other days are 25. So 25 times 
the number of people which visit the church on other days are 240. So 25 times 240. Okay, now to calculate the average number of visitors per day, we will have to find the sum of visitors and divide it by the number of days. So average is equal to the total number of visitors. We have the total number of visitors on Sundays and the total number of visitors on other days. So let us add them. That would get the total number of visitors on all days. So 5 times 510 plus 25 times 240 divided by we have the total number of days as 30. So that will give us the average, the sum upon count, which is equal to 5 times 5110 is 2550 plus 25 times 240 gives you 6000. We have to divide it by 30, which is equal to 2550 plus 6000 is equal to 8550 divided by 30. So 855 divided by 3 is equal to 285. So that's our answer. 285 visitors visit this church per day on an average. The fourth and the final question for this video. The average age of 35 students in a class is 16 years and the average age of 21 of those students is 14. What is the average age of the remaining 14 students? So we know the total number of students and that is 35 and the average of those 35 students is 16. So average is sum upon count. We know the average which is 16. We can find out the sum of all of these ages of 35 students divided by the count is 35. So the total sum of ages of these 35 students is 16 times 35. Then we have been given the average age of 21 students. So let's name that A1 is equal to the sum we don't know. Let's put it S1 divided by the count which is 21. The number of students is 21. And this average is given to us as 14 years. So S1 is equal to 14 times 21 then we have to find the average age of the remaining so let's name that a2 is equal to we don't know the sum s2 divided by the count we know is 14 divided by 14 so s2 is equal to a2 times 14 okay now we have the sum of the ages of all 35 students and we have the sum of ages of 21 of those students and we have partially the sum of the ages of 14 students then we can comfortably say that the sum of ages of all students which is s is equal to the sum of ages of 21 of those students which is s1 plus the sum of ages of 14 of those students so which is s2 so if we put s as 16 times 35 S1 as 14 times 21 and S2 as A2 times 14, we can get the value of A2. So let's do that. We have S as 16 times 35 is equal to 14 times 21 is S1 plus A2 times 14. Let's sort that out. This is A2 is equal to 16 times 35 take the 14 times 21 to the left which becomes minus 14 times 21 divided by this 14. This 14 can divide each one of these terms. So let's do that divided by 14 and this divided by 14. This and this gets cancelled out. 2 7s are 14, 2 8s are 16, 2 7 1s are 7, 7 5s are 35. So this is equal to Let's write it here. A2 is equal to 8 times 5 minus 21. This is equal to 8 times 5 is 40 minus 21. 40 minus 21 is 19. So the answer is 19 years.